And also as well, my girlfriend's out shopping, so she might come in loudly at some point. Ah, right, okay, yeah. But I'll be sure to point it out very loudly, so she's embarrassed. <laughs> oh, so Lucas, um, last episode, uh, you had to leave suddenly for cage-related issues. Uh, yeah, everything was fine, but he just like knocked things over while we were both busy working. Yeah, but uh, never apologise for cage-related issues. I... Would, I understand, so I'd do the same thing. If I had a dog, it'd be on my every fucking video. <laughs> I, I, I don't care what noise that dog's making, it's my bloody dog, so you never have to apologise for that. But the only thing you missed Thank is, you. just as you left, Nero just went, oh man, I need a new arm, and Nico turns up. Oh, okay. And that, that was it, because this is diverging point, Nero. So we're doing the lead up to the end of that really bad V mission. Ah, right, okay, yeah. And I don't think anything sums up how bad V is as a character that me... A guy who fucking adores this franchise and character action just used a healing item as like bollocks to it. Yeah. <laughs> and I believe at the time of recording, the first episode featuring V just went live, so that's how far ahead we are, folks, at home. Oh, um, okay. And there's a guy in the comments like, wow, can nobody style as V? I feel like nobody knows how to play V. It's like, mate, did you watch the video where I talk about you don't need to style as V? That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, I just want to ask one thing, Colt. Why is Lady Naked again? Uh, because Lucas, um, uh, Japanese video game. Like, I know, oh, she's having a shower and looking for a towel, but why? Why did they need to fucking do it? Ugh. Be Lucas, because gamers are the worst, and they demand titillation. It's like, um, I started watching, well, I was re-watching, but showing Jenna My Hero Academia. Oh, was that like, a lot of fans? I was just it? literally t telling her, like, look, usual, you know, anime warning of... There's creepy bits in it. And then immediately, like, there's a giant superhero woman that comes in and everyone takes pictures of her ass. And it's like, oh, god damn it. The worst thing about Lady is, though, in Devil May Cry 3, she is not sexualized at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, she wears, like, a short skirt, which is made of bullets, but like, that's more stylized, I'd argue. She's yeah. not sexualized at all. She is a highly competent character who keeps up with Dante right up until <clears throat> near the end game, where yeah. like, Virgil's back. It's like, well, she can't <laughs> beat Virgil, but she yeah, holds her so. own in every cutscene she's in, including a boss fight with Dante. I wasn't planning on letting any demons live anyway. Not even one. Where she holds her own against him. In Devil May Cry 4, they bring her back and they give her massive tits. She got them hanging out all the time. The real problem is the order. Lately, they've been running amok. This one, they've just like dropped the pretense she's naked, but God damn it, fuck it, I guess, Diverging Point Nero. Okay, that's one of the frustrating aspects of it. Like, Lady is not sexualized at all in Devil May Cry 3, you know, debut game. And it's yeah. just gotten worse. And that's the horrible thing is, like, you generally tend to find, like, oh, with men, they, they, I, over time, they just get more over the top. But with a lot of female characters, they just get more and more sexualized. Yeah. It's, oh, God and I hate when games, like, they just <laughs> lean into it. Like, one of the worst examples is Devil, uh, the De uh, Dead or Alive series. Oh, like yeah, Dead or Alive course, yeah. famously just has like all the naked characters in it and they have them all in like um, underwear. And, you and there's play, the like... beach volleyball games. Yeah, and for one of the games, I forget, I think it was five, they brought in a new character, Mila. Do you remember Mila, the character? Yeah, because they always put like a fat suit Friday, fat Friday suit on. Yeah, it's the uh, the MMA fighter. Like the who sweatpants. Her, her default costume is just a shirt and jeans. Shirt and jeans. And for a while, she was like the poster girl. The game. It's like, oh wow, a new direction De um, Dead or Alive's going in. Within a game, they dropped that and started giving her costumes that were her in like fucking bikini and stuff. Oh, they really? Real yeah, within one game. Yeah, because like, she was always used the box. to play her and like, she was one of my favourite characters. To because play. she's the only one who looks like a normal person. Because like, yeah, I could just put her in fucking sweatpants and be done with it in a hoodie and it's like, yeah, cool. I don't feel creepy for playing this game anymore. Yeah, and um, within a game, they uh, made it so that that character had, like, all naked shit. Oh, God, no, Lucas, oh, I'm no. dead. So this is another one of those levels where you can go in whatever direction you want. So fuck it, let's go. Oh, fuck, I don't care. We don't okay, play. so there's actual diverging paths on this. Yes, there's also as well, no more V, so I don't give a fuck. Oh, the, that's no. it for V now? Yeah, V's done. Oh, thank no God. Oh. So it's time to go ham. Oh, you know what, Lucas, fuck you, arm lock. Oh, Ugh. I'm also actually, I'm, I'm getting really annoyed as well by the fact that, like, there's people defending me in the comments. Yeah. Also, Lucas, can you hear it? Guess what's back? We know we're having a good time again, because Devil Trigger's back! Hell. Fuck you. Arm lock. 
Oh, I got hit by the time! Oh, you see no! That? Yeah. You, you stop me listening to my sound. Those things seem like they're fun, Carl. No, they are. So, devil triggered that there, let's go. Oh. Full of it. Is someone still alive? I think this is just like one big combat area, but. Oh, yeah, really? You can go up like this. Oh, yeah, he fell down a lot. Get back <laughs> here, you. And there's just a lot of time in this game where it's just fuck you. And yeah. why is these here? Like, I get it, it makes for a fun combat challenge for a little bit when the entire area revolves around back here, you. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, that moves so good. And then you just do this. Lucas, it begins. <laughs> Perfect. I love how it oh, hits. Oh, really? Me. Yeah, it's fine. Damn it. And that, do you know what? This is me being silly. I'm sorry. Here's, I was getting excited. It's the fact that they were like retracting and still got you. Yeah. Do you know the best bit as well? You can tell what they want you to do in this area because they're giving me like loads of uh, rag times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lucas, I need, them. I need more. It's like that thing when. Um, a lot of the classic Zelda games do it, and it's like, oh, because you have to have an item for a puzzle. And it's like, you'll get you a into a off. room, and you'll break the pots, and it's like, oh, you've given me bombs, bombs, and bombs, bombs, and bombs. Mm -hmm. like, I guess I need bombs for this room, then. So that's, I think, like, yeah, that's all right, but there's a couple of little paths you can take there, you can unlock some decent stuff. Oh, I love that. But now we've got Devil Trigger Path, because you know what? Fun gameplay is back here to stay. So let's go kill this guy first. I said fun gameplay back to stay, and then like a spell cast comes in. <laughs> so did um did Nero unlock his double trigger yet? Canonically, no. No, no it's, that is the literal last thing in the game you get, which is why I thought, fuck it. Some of the most fun stuff you can do is unlocked or hidden behind like the very end game, like um, yeah. King Cerberus is locked behind like Dante's second to last mission. And we only just got the hat for him as well, didn't we? Yes, which I'll show up next time. Whoop. Devil Trigger starting with this. No, fuck you! Oh, god damn it. I'm listening to my song, man. I'm listening <laughs> to my tunes. And I've probably mentioned it before in this playthrough, but like, I was so hyped for the soundtrack when I heard Devil Trigger, and then and the then, rest is just really plastic. Yeah. Compare to Devil Trigger, like, what else? Fuck you, Luke, it begin. Can you see it? Can you see the bar? Yeah. Can you see he's ready to explode. Don't worry, that'll come into play in a second. Okay. <laughs> I've not seen you do like this text before. Can I just leave that again? I always get my S rank. <laughs> okay. There we go, and then come in. Oh, that's cool. No, no mercy. Talk to the hand. Woo! Nope. You don't get to touch me. You don't get to touch me. <laughs> Suplex. You gotta do it. Power bomb. Oh, do it. Oh, there we go. Get the Gerber in. Gotta do it. Uh, oh, triple S! Oh, yes. Now the music's really kicking in. <laughs> they know. Lucas, what does the enemy do when they hear my theme song playing? I don't like, know. They what must do you be do shitting anything? themselves. Like, what do you do when someone walks in through the door and their theme song starts playing cards? No, well, it's more the theme song slowly builds. <laughs> that's what gets. <laughs> that's why you're gonna need to start worrying. Oh no, he's, re he's reached the triple F rank. Oh, get off me! Don't you dare touch me! So, do you break out that with Devil Trigger? Yes, which is why I always have Devil Trigger set. I oh, know some no, people yeah. use it a lot, but I like to use it as a get out of jail free card because I don't like using the Devil Breaker system. Yeah, because I thought to myself then, I was like, oh, that, that like knocks you out of your combo, and then you burst out like, no, fuck you! Yeah, it's one of the reasons to have it. It's just based, uh, that's what Devil Breaker can do, like exploding them up till you get yes. Devil Trigger. One of the reasons you'll notice I keep it for so long. Mm -hmm. I always try and keep at least three parts. So I can use it at any point to do shit like that. Oh my god, the camera's just having a day today, isn't it? it is, I'm in the corner, so. I, I, do you know what? I'd say that's pretty stylish. Yeah, I'd say, like, what, the second half of that fight, you just had a triple S the entire time. Well, that's pretty damn stylish. I do like raw hide as well. Look how thin its fingers are. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what does he do when he's trying to read a book with that? I'm really annoyed that the Pasta Breaker was like the um, pre-order shit. It is, because that's the one where you go on like the style compilation videos and it's just people just annihilating the enemies. Because they, you can't do anything. Like, it lets you switch between Devil Breakers at will. Yeah. Oh, 
Lucas. Oh, you can see it. You can see the hole. And I was quite disappointed when I saw like the trailer oh, where they showed oh, off no, Pasta Breaker. My girlfriend's trying to walk through the room very quietly. She's been shopping. <laughs> Joe, we, we all need to listen out now, see if we can hear her slowly closing the door. Let's see if we can hear it. Oh. She gave me a dirty look. See. <laughs> there we go. Just <laughs> You know what? I respect that. That's exactly what I would. Oh no! The no, fuck you can't. But yeah, when they showed off the pasta breakout, I was like, oh, that looks like some like cool, funny thing. And then it's just, oh no, it changes your devil breakers. I was like, oh. yeah. So did you know the thing people have been asking for since they introduced devil breakers? Because it means it's. Oh, does that mean we're gonna have like pseudo style switching with Nero? No. No, just one at a time. And whatever, also, it's... whatever order the game gives them to use, what you just yeah. got fucking deal. It's also as well a lot behind DLC. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah, because it was either the like, pre-order bonus or fuck you DLC. Since it begins. Oh, look at these teleports. I was wanting to teleport in front of me. Just teleport directly <laughs> into it. He did it, Lucas, what an idiot. I can't believe he fell for it. I'm spinning, I'm rotating. Oh god. Yeah, like, just... can he touch you when you're doing that? No. Lucas, I am just a hitbox. <laughs> That's a really good counter for them. Yeah, it is. Wouldn't it be great Fuck if we could, it. Be great if we could switch between these things at will? So you, you can know. choose Rawhide when one of those comes up, yeah. Yeah, almost like Joe and Dante sees one of them come in and just goes straight to Royal Gala Trickster. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yes, the trap, Lucas. They're not locked in here with me. <laughs> oh, so I'm not locked in here with them, they're locked in here with me. Yeah, they are trapped in there with you, Carl. You know what? Oh, the name. God. What is this fucker doing? Just like he looks like um, one of those girls, just like dancing in the cages in a strip club. Yeah, he's not doing well, is he? <laughs> it's like yeah. He's trying to show off to you. He wants some singles card. I'm sorry. Oh. What have we got next? Oh. <laughs> That's my favourite bit. Nero wants the cage now, Carl. You know what? We could do that. Show and dance. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Let's do his special taunt. Come on, I've got a special taunt. Come on. I don't know about to do it. I think you've got to, like, mash it quickly. Or, like, hold it. There we go. You wanted it, Lucas. We've got it. <laughs> Nero in the cage. The thing is, he's killed everyone that could tip him. Just throwing red orbs. Just, like, <laughs> that'd be amazing. Like just Dante on the outside, just like throwing the red orbs at him, like, yeah, baby! You got it. Work it, work it. Ah, oh. I love that jump. I love doing like streak or stinger off the edge and you get the super long jump. It's great. Oh. Right now. Also, That's yes, terrible. you can um, like do Joe right Ready now. Sword. You could do it on um, the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can also max act. Oh, am I supposed to be here? Uh, I think I'm going the wrong right way. Now. It's like, these little diverging areas are great, until you realise there's no map. <laughs> because the game is so linear for almost the entirety of the time playing it, up until like specific points. Yeah, because it doesn't realistically need a map for 90% of it. No, until you get to that bit like this. Oh, yeah, it's free shit. Ting! So I think I'm going the right way here. I think we're in back. Let's go around, and then go down. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe that was just like an alternate path. I'll see him. Do you know what, Luke? <laughs> that, looks like, that looks like progress. That's the fucking Demon Souls right there, isn't it? Just guy with sword and shield blocking the one fucking entrance. Yeah. No, it's not Demon Souls, so he attacks you from off camera. Yeah, that's true. Which we've talked about, you can't do in this game, so that wouldn't be fair. So in this instance, because you just like not have the camera locked on him at any point. Yeah, because it's too this lot. <laughs> just like... He won't swing. The no, but that's what I mean. Swing. You could keep the camera there and just keep attacking him and he'd be cool. Yeah, well, that's one of the ways you can, like, beat Dante and Dymo. Oh, really? Yeah. And then like, just compare that to any other character action you have played on this um, channel. Like, yeah, compare well, it to God of War. Where you will get hit from off camera by unblockable attacks that are one hit kills. <laughs> just the whip. Oh, hey, guys. Oh. 
Oh, the raw high, like the combos <laughs> I'm getting with it. How many times do you want to get hit? Oh, God. Oh, what do they do? Um, they die. How dare you touch me? So I lost my raw hide and I'm very mad about that because I like raw hide. <laughs> oh, God. It's low key one of my favourite ones of the game. To be fair though, Punchline's pretty style. Punchline's one of the best ones to just do this. <laughs> just let it do its work. It's great. I love it. It's the only way that anyone should ever travel. Just. Now, if I could travel like that, I fucking would. <laughs> just so casual. <laughs> oh, I need to get through this door. <laughs> that was a bust around. I'll tell you. Oh, it great when it got the enemy. I didn't even see him. <laughs> I like this bust around, please. Oh, did he kill the buster? Where'd he go? What? Yeah, what happened to it? So I was trying to pick it up for ages. I was just yeah, stood there. and then it's just gone. Maybe they destroy it. I know the enemies can destroy it, but it's a mechanic that almost never comes into play. Yeah, because the enemy is almost never like, not. They're normally in the corridors between enemies, aren't they? Yeah. Like enemies but, um, can walk up and stamp on them sometimes. Oh. I mean, to be fair, that's a good thing for the enemy to do. It is, but he's it's, it's just made it worse, because I was going to just use the buster on him and kill him instantly. <laughs> now he's got to deal with this shit. <gasps> Lucas, he took my punchline. Oh, no. You want this? Yeah, look, I'll take his life. I do. I'm mad. How did I miss? How did I miss <laughs> this giant enemy? Right, fuck you. It's Luke's it happens, I'm sorry. Oh, there's only one way this is ending. I'm so mad that he did that. Yes! Can I have my gerber? Here we go. Oh no. He's better DLC. I love DLC. Actually, I hate it. it pisses me off, so. Get rid. God, those, those lasers. Like, it's so good. That's yeah. why I don't like it. Oh, it happens. Oh, it's the F5. <laughs> oh, how's it? You are, you are having such a rough day, mate. Yeah. Just like, putting the Helter oh. Skelter right in his ribs <laughs> and just spinning it as these ghost fists just punch him endlessly in the dick. God, that's how I want to go, Carl. It's not, oh, I want to go. That sounds good, really hurts. <laughs> it would really hurt. Keep is that not the way you came? Oh, fucking hell, it is. Damn it. There must be more enemies in here waiting. See what I mean about it? just sometimes? Yeah. So is there any re like, does this really add to the gameplay more than it makes you like, wait, what? No, okay. not up there. That's what you just Well, went. the music's still playing. So through oh. there. There we go. I really feel, I feel bad for this guy, Joe White. There we go. <laughs> just need a little extra explosion where his shield just detonates. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, I'll leave this. oh just grind into it. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. That's, That's so really got brutal. Right into his spine. It's a little ting little tingler. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he's dead. I just wanted to make sure. Just the meat. Yeah, I, there was more shit to get upstairs. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to fight. There's enemies in here that need to be killed. So I just want to get through. I just want to kill stuff. Oh, more combat challenges. Yeah! Alright, what we got? Whatever it is, is going to die. Oh, hello. Oh, this thing's so fat. This thing's so fat. Nah, I'm sorry. There we go. Now he's dead. Just war hard time. Whoop. You ready? Spin. Whoop. I love that one. And then transform. I need to destroy his shield. Oh, he's riding on the ground. I'm gonna hide. Not sure, like, being completely bondaged up is class as a shield. <laughs> well, it protects them. They talk about it though, it's like, oh yeah, they're so dangerous that they need to be locked up because they hurt their, their friends. Yeah. And with V, it's annoying because like, this is something V can do that I think is actually quite interesting. 
with this enemy specifically, um, when you get it in like the death animation, yeah. you ride it and can steer it into other enemies, a la God of War of the Ogres. But it's so slow and so difficult to do, there's no point. Yeah, yeah. So it just takes so long to do, why would you ever bother? But wouldn't that be an interesting concept, like V could throw enemies at other enemies or mm -hmm. something? Like, that's the thing is, his entire point is uh, taking over other demons. Like, why can't he do that in his oh, combat? Like, why can't V have some sort of system where he takes enemies and aggroes them against their, like, allies? Or just throws them at each other, like... Or just throws stuff, them at each other, yeah. <laughs> like stuff Nero does, where, like, the bats, where he can throw the explosive bats. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. So I'm gonna go in here just to get uh, more arms. Luke is really more arms. Do it. Oh, like that's well. Even Nero's coming on in. That's a bit generous. Give me all these healing <laughs> items straight away. What's going on here? So devil breakers, fuck it, equipment. Uh, let's just edit what we have, I guess. Uh, we'll chuck a couple of Gerbers on there. I know you like Gerberas. We do like Gerbera, Gerbera, punchline. We don't use Tomboy in a while. Tomboy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Punchline. You know, for the last one, plus six. I know there's a level boss at the end of his level, and I'll save it for that. Ah, okay, yeah. I'm just going to buster it, because fuck it. I hate this boss type. The boss coming up is really annoying. There's I'm not Dante. been, like, many good boss fights in this game. It's really surprising. There is some really good ones, but it's the, this boss fight in particular on Dante Must Die mode has an attack where it is just ridiculous, where it has ended so many of my bloody palace runs. Right. Because it's just... I think it's like stage 90 where you fight it and it just has this attack where it goes mental and runs in a straight line and it's just a giant hurt box. Mm. If you get hit by it, you lose three quality health. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Are you ready, Lucas? No. He tried to run towards me and he only made it easier. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. Sweet Surrender. Where is it? Ready. Thank you. Just blow up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. The enemy did the same thing. Like, the enemy saw you do that one. That's a good idea, you know. I need to get. Right, suplex him. No, he's gone. Right, this is the one that I need to kill. Do you see it charging up? That huge explosion that's almost undodgeable because it's just... Wait, what? You just see the <laughs> devil trigger... Where is it gone? I love enemies that fly away. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I'm saving oh, devil God. trigger for this thing. Just shut it the fuck down, Carl. It must die. Oh shit, that's the wrong enemy. This is the wrong purple glow insect. It needs to know. No, it's dead. And like, I quite... Oh, that's simple. As well, if you notice, it gives you full charge shot as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because of course it does. I see it. You see it, Lucas. There's some shit up there for me. There's your little platform. <laughs> What is it? Oh, a Tomboy. Fuck yes. I've not used Tomboy much. Um, I was going to say, which one's Tomboy again? Tomboy is the one that gives you um, level 4 exceed.